Good morning and welcome to Akaroa in New Zealand. Today I'm in Akaroa, which is the first port for Christchurch. And I'm going to Middle Earth, yes, on the Lord of the Rings tour. Um, I've just come off the tender boat here. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. It's not even 7.30 in the morning yet. It smells amazing, seaweedy and fresh and green. And it's really a gorgeous port. You come off the tender, come down here. If you're going on tour, this is where the buses are. Seaside town, tourist places, holy homes, and really pretty houses up on the hills. And this is the bay. So, good morning, all. This is Glenn talking. Hey, uh, just a couple of um, things I'd like to go through before we um, head, out, head out of town um, safety belts. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to wear them. We've got a, a few bits of windy road and it's um, law in this country. If they're in the vehicle, they must be worn. So if you could just uh, make sure they're on at all times. It's just amazing here. Now we're stopping for a morning tea at Salmon World. Salmon Tails building in Rakaya. And this is a little coffee shop. And they've got tea and coffee set up for us with some homemade muffins. Which is Aoraki Mount Cook. That's a lot further south, and that's um, just over 12,200 feet tall. And we're going to the mountains straight ahead. With the snow. Clearwater on the way up to Middle Earth and it's beautiful. There's two lakes here. We've got one over here behind us. This is the quiet lake and there's another one over the other side there that we just passed because some pictures of and in between here this is lots of holiday homes. Uh, there's no um, electricity or anything here. People have to bring everything in and they can't live here year round. So these are basically uh, like fancy little chalets that people have as their holiday homes. Um, it's very popular. A lot of locals come here and camp out as well in camper vans and it's beautiful scenery. You can go sailing, go windsurfing, uh, go swimming when it's warm enough. And we've got the hills in the distance, mountains. This is where we're going. This is where Middle Earth is, the Rohan. Um, and there's still snows on it now and this is actually the middle of the summer, um, getting to the middle of the summer in uh, New Zealand, but it's still snowy. Uh, when they filmed here, they filmed in September, which was in springtime, uh, for two weeks. And when they were filming, the snow came all the way down those far mountains and about a third of the way down the ones closer by here. So it was a lot colder uh, because they wanted it to look like that. And it also looks very much like Scotland. It's making me a little bit homesick. It's really pretty though, but the wind is not too cold, so it's very pleasant. Station, the farm down here on the flat, which includes Mount Sunday, the distant mountains of the Southern Alps, the very tallest one, Mount Darkia, up in the distance there, 9,400 feet. Another big river coming out of that valley underneath that mountain, going off to the left, is the Rangitaja River, another one of these big braided rivers. The road carries on, snakes off to the right of Mount Sunday, carries on for another 10 kilometres. Then ends at the last station on this road, Erewhon, which is almost the word nowhere spelled backwards. <laughs> so this is where Edoras was built, um, where it was, the, the guide was just talking about it there and we had um, pictures of it and this is the valley, it's absolutely beautiful. It took eight months to, um, to build it and that was because of the wind and it looks, it's just absolutely stunning. You could be at any point in history here. It could go way, way back, thousands of years, and feel exactly the same. And we've got a lot of sheep greeting us. New Zealand style, plenty sheep. It's gorgeous here. 
and Edras itself was built on the mound over here, just in front of the trees. So that's where the city was. Like Tolkien describes Edera as being a small city built on a flat plain with mountains all around it and a silver river running through it. So I think the location can scout did yet. Uh, yeah. in Mount Summers in the water Memorial And some of my relatives, John McRae, like my dad, and Alex McRae, who moved over here, I guess passed away in the first one we're here. Yes. And this is the World Memorial Hall. We've got some Kiwi merchandise set up. All the food is set up and some champagne. And so we sat down for lunch and we're having sandwiches, chicken or ham. Juice, <laughs> and we've got some home baked cakes, some fruit, and some candies there as well. And on the way back, we're stopping off um, to get views from the hilltop 18 kilometers up from Akaroa. It's a beautiful bay. And there's a map telling you what everything is around the area here as well. well we're docked in Akaroa Harbour. Down here. 